with Lisa Motley and also Mike Gardner uh, from the Children's Centre and I'm really keen to talk to you about how you're feeling right now but first of all what it is that you're getting up to so Lisa can you just talk me through what it is that you're just about to embark on okay so for one of our fundraising events this year we thought it'd be a good idea to cycle ride from uh, London down to Nice um, so that's what we're doing just and a little cycle then just a small cycle it's only it's just under a thousand miles <laughs> and approximately 50-ish thousand foot climbing something like that so yeah it's quite a good ride um, and we're doing that in 11 days and Mike it's not just the two of you that are doing this as well as it but you've got a team of you so yep. just tell me a little bit about your team yeah we've got 17 people doing the actual ride um, some of them or two of them are joining us in Paris three of them are joining in Paris uh, but the rest are all doing it from London so we're going from London down to Nice through the middle of Paris which could be interesting and then on down to the south coast avoiding the traffic <coughs> hopefully <laughs> yes possible. Yeah. Um, and also weather and climate there's no guarantee what it's going to be like at this time of year anymore is it no not at all i think the forecast for tomorrow is pretty poor but we're not riding tomorrow so we're just driving down to london tomorrow but after that it's in the lap of the gods there is a very good reason why you're doing this lisa what is that reason yeah, well, it's to raise money for the children's center and um, it's to support our charitable services and um, yeah, it's, it's to, to, for families and children on the Isle of Man. Um, that's what we raise money for, to help them. And um, there are lots of people out there that need our help. What an incredible way of doing it. What's your target of the amount of money that you're wanting to uh, raise? I, it, the target is over £20,000 for this particular trip. And I think we are actually on target to do that, to achieve that, which is fantastic. And that's obviously down to all the people that have put their name forward to do this crazy idea. And, <laughs> Yeah, so it should be good, it should be good. But can I just mention actually, there is one guy that has left and cycling from the Isle of Man, um, Matt Hills, he works at Aon, and Matt decided that he would actually cycle the whole route, even from the island. So he left on Tuesday. Has he got a special bike that's carrying him over the sea as well? Or, uh... <laughs> no, he did get the ferry over, um, courtesy of the steam packet. And um, so he will meet us down in London on Friday. Um, so he's traveling down through the country as we speak. Training that's been going on in the lead up to this event, just how much training have you been doing, Mike? Well, it's been difficult over the winter to be honest because the winter has been pretty poor from a cycling perspective. It's either been lashing down with rain or very windy or both, or it's been freezing cold. So the chance to get out over the winter has been a bit limited, but hopefully, people have put in a lot of effort to um you know because you do you do need a base level of fitness to be able to start this thing i can imagine um, not just anybody you, can take on this event can they no but you do get fitter as you ride through it but um but hopefully people have done enough training to um to get them first, through the first few days and i know that you've had a knee injury lisa but you've had some help with that i have i was skiing in march and um, i had a little bit of a fall and hurt um tore both medial ligaments on my knees and I have had treatment from the hyperbaric chamber those guys are just amazing and um, I had four weeks with them and if I think don't think if I hadn't have had that treatment I wouldn't be taking part in the cycle they were absolutely superb well you are just yeah. about to take part in the cycle we're standing as I say you're just about to get onto the Bendon Cree just explain Mike how you're feeling right now uh, a bit apprehensive I mean, we, we've done a we've done a cycle challenge pretty much every year for the children's center but historically we've used routes that we're sort of familiar with this one is brand new to us so it's on paper the route looks fine in practice we'll find out a bit nervous lisa a little bit nervous yeah i mean obviously nervous for the ride can you do it you know and yes your head will get you around it probably um but it's just making sure that everybody really enjoys it and has a good time and you know um because that's what it's about they've got to have a good time and and, and enjoy it and and you want them to get around you want everybody to finish in one piece of course and this wouldn't be possible with the sponsors that you've had as well yeah. mike yeah no they've been very supportive and uh, we've had two main sponsors kpmg and playtech and that helps to pay for the kit and the this the support crew that we take down with us as well so it's been most helpful well, look we look forward to following your success and your journey over the next few weeks but if anybody does want to donate where do they go to lisa to be able to make any more donations um so if they i have a just giving page so if they want to go on to just giving and look for lisa motley then um yeah they can sponsor us that way lovely well yeah. very best of luck i hope the uh, crossing isn't much. too rough to start mm. off with yeah, but we'll be so following your success yeah. thank you, thank thank you. you.